I make a statement that might not do too well with your theology? Jesus never prayed with his disciples. Selah. He always prayed alone. Read your Bible carefully. Whenever it was time to pray, he would say, you stay here. And he'd go off. Why? Because prayer is a personal thing. We love group praying because we don't like to pray. Prayer is a private discipline. It's a personal relationship first. There's nothing wrong with corporate prayer, but that's not your passion. Your passion should be private prayer. Uh, we love group prayer meetings because we can get lost in the crowd and don't say anything. Jesus was praying by himself and they were watching him. And when he was finished, the Bible says, they said to him, Master, teach us how to do that. My question to you, which was a question to me also years ago, was why was this the only thing they asked him to teach them? They never asked him to do miracles or to walk on water. They said, just teach us this one thing. Teach us how to do this thing you do. The thing that you do by yourself. The thing we watch you do from behind the bush. Why would they only have said one thing? Teach us how to pray. I figured it out. Because the disciples finally caught on. Listen carefully. It's what I call inductive and deductive logic. The disciples became smart after a while. Because you see, the Bible would always say this, And Jesus rose up a great time before day and went to a solitary place to pray. Have you ever read that before in your Bible? Wave at me if you read that before. Good. Now, I'm going to say it again. Listen to it carefully. And a great while before day, Jesus rose up and went to a solitary place alone to pray. When did he do that? A great while before day. Now those of you who probably like me have been to Israel many times, and most of us who have been to the east would know that day in the Middle East begins for those people who go to town and those who take goods to sell to the market. Day can begin around 5 a.m. between 4.30 and 5 a.m. That's when day begins in the east. Matter of fact, day begins with the sunrise. The sun usually rises around 4 a.m. Keep looking at me. He woke up when? A great while before. Which means he must have gotten up by 3 a.m. every morning to pray. And by the time the disciples woke up, he had already finished his entire communication. He prayed at least 3, 4, 5, 6 at least four hours of prayer average every morning and the disciples were amazed every time they woke up they caught him doing this thing and he was doing it every morning for hours and then when he would finish this thing called prayer then he would say let's go to the town and he would go down up the mountain and they would walk into the city and he would do something crazy. He would walk up to a blind man and says, what can I do for you? And the blind man says, I want to see, receive my sight. And he would just say to the man, see. And he would walk off. One fraction of a second, the man's eye was open. He would go to a leper and he would say, what can I do for you? I want to be cleansed. He'd say, be clean. And he would walk off. It took about a fraction of a second. Then he walks up to a man who, was, who had a little child that was sick. He says, what's the matter? He says, my child is vexed. He says, no problem. Demon, go. Demon left in a second. Then he walks up to another woman who had a baby going into the, to, to the casket to get buried. He stopped, touched the, the coffin. Live. And the baby lived. Just took a five fraction of a second. And the disciples were watching this. And they said, my goodness, it took him a fraction of a second to do that. And took him four hours in the morning with this other thing. They began to figure it out. They said, look, we spent hours trying to cast a demon out. Come out, come out, come out. Come out, I say, I bind you, I loose you. 
I lose you. Come on. Now you take over. I'm tired. Okay. I come out. Come on. I lose you. Come on. And for hours, you're trying to cast a demon out. You're trying to heal the sick, laying on your hands on a person with disease. Come out. Come out. And he just touched him in a second and left. But he spent four hours in the morning doing this thing. So the disciples' conclusion was, if you spend four hours in the morning with God, you'll only spend a minute with men in the day. They were logical. You know what we do? We spend a minute in the morning with God and four hours trying to solve a problem in the day with men. The priority of Jesus was not ministry to men. And there's our problem. See, you, you can't wait to go heal the sick and go sing and go raise the dead and cast out demons. That's our problem. We can't wait to go then start a ministry. And God say, no, spend some time with me first. Time in prayer is not time wasted. It's time invested. The disciples figured it out. One time there was a young man that bought his son and the boy was filled with a demon. And the disciples, you know, uh, Jesus, I believe he set it up all by himself. He meant to do it. Jesus set him up. The Bible says he told them, go to the town. And he went to a mountain to pray. I think he set it up. I believe he was watching them from the top of the mountain. He wanted to see if they learned a lesson. And the man bought the boy with the demon. And he says, uh, my son is vexed with a demon. Can you cast him out? And Peter says, no problem, no problem. I'm charismatic. And John said, mm-hmm. And Luke said, mm-hmm. And James said, hot, 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 hot. let's get him. And they began to work on this demon for hours. <laughs> and Jesus was watching. And after they had sweated, was tired, laying out, <laughs> waiting, he said, let me go help him out. And the Bible says, he came down from the mountain and said, what's going on here? <laughs> and the old man says, I brought my son to your disciples with a demon and they could not cast him out. And Jesus said his words, how long must I be with you? In other words, haven't you observed me? Bring the boy to me. Get out. Demon left. They were so ashamed like most of us after praying for 10 hours and no demon left. The Bible said they waited until they were in secret at dinner, quietly behind the wall. And then they said, Master, um, uh, why couldn't we, you know? That's how you feel when you pray for the sick and you walk off and they're still sick. You need to be prepared for ministry. Don't just go out and pray for the sick. Prepare yourself to pray for the sick. Why couldn't we do this? He said, simple. This time, this kind only comes out not by shouting, cut out. Not by using the name of Jesus, 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 Jesus. Ah. He said, this kind only comes out after you have prayed, not the person who's sick. And after you have fasted, after you have spent your time with me, 